What's up guys, this is Telixian and the Mob of the Dead trailer released and inside of it there was this screen you see here. Um, and what stood out to I'm sure almost everyone is this section here. Uh, obviously this is a code of something, it, it means something, um, but what does it mean? Um, so I've been trying to, I'm sure a bunch of us have been trying to figure this out. Uh, and I'm going to kind of show show where I'm at on the progress, and hopefully that'll help you guys. Now, before I get too, too far into this, um, uh, I could be wrong on, on you know, there, there could be an error in any part of my, of my work. Um, I've double-checked it, and I'm pretty sure it's right, but if you see anything wrong, please, please correct me. Um, but, yeah, let's get into it. So we see this here now if you notice it consists of only letters of A, D, F, G, and X um, and there is actually a cipher and it's called ADFGX cipher um, and how it works is you have a 5x5 five five grid uh, right here and with that you can include every letter of the alphabet and I and J are combined in the same spot and you put the letters A, D, F, G, X on the top and also on the side. Now say I want to encode a message that was help. Let's just use help. So I want to use H, so that would be D, F. So D, F, E is A, X, uh, L is F, A, and uh, P is F, X. So this is translated into help, but we take it one step further. Um, I'm going to use a, a code, a keyword. Let's just use dog, D-O-G. And now I fill in this, so I fill in this into here, uh, going left to right, top to bottom. So D-F-A-X-F-A fx uh, and that's okay to have an extra space so um, I'm just going to uh, change this to red so it stands out oh, didn't do it change to red there it goes um, so now we have this but we take it another step further uh, we alphabetize our keyword so we are going to have this one uh, here, then next would be G alphabetically, and then next would be O alphabetically. So this is our new, why is it doing that? Um, there we go. Uh, this is our new thing we have to work with. Uh, but we take it one step further. Uh, we now look at it from top to bottom, left to right, and write out that code. So we have DXF space, uh, and actually it doesn't matter if there's a space, um, AA space FFX. So this translates into help. Um, and how one would figure that out is by knowing the keyword, and from there, you can put it into this format and then put it back into the keyword form and then from here you just simply match it up with the alphabet now there are this alphabet can change um, it, it doesn't have to be in this exact order and I'll get back to that later but for right now let's just leave it in that order um, okay so looking at this here I can see that it is at this step. Um, they didn't take it to this last step, uh, which isn't too big of a deal, but um, it does need to be in this format for a uh, web page um, to decipher it. And I'll have all the links in the description. So when we put it into this format here, reading it or, or vertically from that we get this 
um, this and, and please double check this for me uh, or or just trust my word and, and kind of help with the progress but um, reading it down vertically like this uh, we get this keyword here now um, we need to figure out a keyword um, but this here tells a lot and most more specifically these two letters here tell us a lot so if we look whoops um, if we look here um, we know that we have to alphabetize it and when we write it out in this format the left mo the mo yeah the ones on the left are gonna have any extra letters and the one on the right um, are not so what that means and I'm just double checking um, yes yes okay I'm sorry um, I, was <laughs> I was making sure I was doing this right uh, what that means is that these two columns here are higher up alphabetically than the rest of them because if you put it into alphabetical order it just makes sense that the last two are the higher up alphabetically um, and that tells a lot and because we know that they're the front two um, you can know that okay I need a six letter word where the first two letters are higher up alphabetically than the rest of them um, and I posted that on Twitter and you guys came back to me with this word here zombie it's a six letter word and Z and O is higher up alphabetically than the rest of them and I was like oh that's so cool and so I put it in and it didn't work it <laughs> it did not work um, but that was really helpful because uh, I mean anything is helpful so I realized that the keyword doesn't matter um, I can use use anything as long as it's the same uh, position alphabetically and I'm going to show you this web uh, whoops uh, this web page here so here's the alphabet here is the text and make sure if, if when you do do this make sure you're on decrypt so the keyword zombie gives us this text but say for example I wanted to make this a D that wouldn't affect the order alphabetically of this at all because D is still higher than B and lower than I so when I put it to D nothing changes and if you look here um, I'm going to copy this so obviously this is drastically different uh, but when I plug this in we still have the same exact keyword um, and so what let me show you what this is so F and E are higher up alphabetically than the rest of these and so I've I've done every possible combination that you can do with that format um, and if you notice here I have what six in there and I have one two three four five six seven eight so 48 possible keywords and that's really not that much um, okay so from there it's like oh I will be able to figure this out easy just plug each one of those in but nothing came up or, or nothing that I found and I, I double checked but please again uh, if you wouldn't mind doing your part that would uh, and just double check I didn't see anything under any of those keys and that's every possible key we can have so going back to the alphabet um, this doesn't have to be in this order you can attempt a lot of different variations uh, like you can completely randomize it uh, and I was thinking well what can I do to shift to, to move this around to give me the correct alphabet 
um, and in there, there's a lot like I don't even know the amount of possible alphabet because it doesn't have to be in order. But I was like, okay, well, what if it is in order? So I was looking back, um, and over in the left, uh, bottom left corner of this page, further in the video, uh, it says cats have nine lives. Because I was looking for any sort of detail I can get. And I was like, ooh, nine. Well, what if I use the Caesar shift to move up nine? And so I put it on K. So to, to do the Caesar shift, you're basically rotating the thing. So instead of starting with A, B, C, D, we would move K right there. And it would start with K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z when you get here you would start back up at the top again so a b c d e f g h i uh, and i is combined with j so that would include everything and so i was like okay well i tried that i and with all the keys it didn't work and i tried every caesar shift you can do with alphabet and i've, I've tried it backwards and i've tried it um i didn't do every possible caesar shift backwards but i did z through a and I did vertically A, B, C, D that way. Um, I did, and, th and that took a lot of time, and nothing came up. So now, assuming that everything is correct so far, that all these here are the possible keys, and it, you know everything is correct so far, that would mean we just need to figure out what the alphabet is and that is where I'm stuck because there is not infinite but there's a lot of lot of possible um, orders you can have and notice so I'm just gonna randomize it uh, with this thing it, it you know it could be anything and I'm not gonna sit here and do every single key with you know just ran like that would take way too much time so there's got to be some sort and it, we might not be able to figure this out with the information we're given we might have to go into the game or possibly even further into new maps uh, for future maps um, but yeah so so we need to figure out what this alphabet order could be now it could be I don't know the exact cipher, but say say the keyword was zombie. Now now don't go off of this. I'm just using this as an example. Say it was zombie. Um, there is this this uh, I, I don't know what it's called, but basically you would spell Z O M B I E, and then you would continue the alphabet. So A C D and the reason I skipped B is because there's a B in zombie. You'd continue the alphabet with every letter except what was in zombie. Um, um, you know that that could be something, um, but how you would need to know the keyword. There's just a lot, a lot of possible solutions. So if you guys see any any like hint towards what the alphabet order could be, um, let me know and I'll try or or you can try yourself and I'll put the link to the this website here um, I'll put all the the keys oops um, I'll put all these keys in the, the description and um, I think that's all you really need oh oh and I'll put the the text um, uh, this here in the description so yeah I hope hopefully we can figure this out um, it would be kinda cool to see what it says and yeah, uh, I can't wait for Mob of the Dead. I'm super excited. That trailer was amazing. And it just, ah, uh, it looks so good. Okay. Um, yeah, just wanted to fill you in with, <laughs> fill you in with what, what progress I've made. Um, yeah, I will talk to you guys later.